students in this video we are going to see about types of operating system first we can see what is an operating system actually operating system is a system software system software is used to control all computer hardware components which is an interface between user and computer operating system can act as an interface between computer hardware and user here there are two different types of operating system first one is single user operating system and second one is multi user operating system single user operating system allows a single user only at a time to perform the task but multi user operating system allows multiple user at a time to perform the task in this image you can see the difference between single user operating system and multi user operating system in single user operating system allows single user at a time to perform the task but in multi user operating system we can work with multiple users here multiple user systems are connected with the server through the lan connections which is a difference between single user operating system and multi user operating system first let's see about single user operating system why it is called it a single user operating system this operating system allows only a single user to perform a task at a time here it is important at a time single user can perform a task so it is called it as single user operating system it is also called it as single user and single task operating system at a time single user can perform a task so it is called it as single user and single task operating system what is the task task may be any users functionality such as printing a document or writing some information into the disk or reading some information from the disk or editing a file or downloading a file etc like this any type of task can be done by single user operating system by a single user at a time here given example ms dos which is old operating system which means Microsoft Disk Operating System. This will allow only a single user at a time do a task. Next, we can see about multi-user operating system. Why it is called it as multi-user operating system? Multi-user operating system allows multiple users at the same time to access same data and applications. So it is called it as multi-user operating system. here it is used in computers and laptops that allow same data and applications to be accessed by multiple users at the same time same time say multiple users can access same data and applications so it is called it as multi user operating system you can see this image here multiple users are connected in the server through the lan connection lan means local area network through the lan connection multiple users are connected in the server here each user can access the information from the server at the same time each user can communicate with each other they can save the information they can access the information from the server all those information all those functionalities they can done in this multi user operating system the users can also communicate with each other here given three different types of operating system today's windows operating system linux operating system unix operating system these are all example for multi user operating system finally we can see the summary of this video here we have seen two different types of operating system first single user operating system and second one is multi user operating system single user operating system will allow a single user to do the task at a time but multi user operating system will allow multiple users at a time to do the task thank you students